It was a comfortable book to read. It wasn't super suspenseful to me, and that is almost what made part of it seem so enjoyable. You could sit and read it comfortably. Hey guys, I'm Kenna Rose. Welcome to Good Clean Reads. Today I am reviewing The Phantom Tollbooth, written by Norton Juster. Uh, it's a whimsical story about a boy who doesn't find much enjoyment in life, discovers a car and a tollbooth in his room, starts to play with it, and is whisked off into a fantasy world quite different from any other. It's quite an enjoyable read. Um, the main character is Milo. Uh, he is unable to see the good in life at the beginning of the story, and the two supporting characters are a literal watchdog named Talk and the Humbug, whose personality you might be able to guess by its name. I'm going to read to you the back of the book just so you can kind of see more of what it's about. It says, A journey to the lands beyond. For Milo, everything's a bore. When a toll booth mysteriously appears in his room, he drives through it only because he's got nothing better to do. But on the other side, things seem different. Milo visits the Island of Conclusions. You get there by jumping learns about time from a ticking watchdog named Talk, and even embarks on a quest to rescue Rhyme and Reason. Somewhere along the way, Milo realizes something astonishing. Life is far from dull. In fact, it's exciting beyond his wildest dreams. Uh, so he stumbles into the world of the Phantom Told with quite accidentally, then proceeds on the mission to try and rescue the princesses of Sweet Rhyme and Pure Reason. What I liked. The Phantom Tollbooth is a really fun and engaging story. I enjoyed reading it, and it was a comfortable book to read. It wasn't super suspenseful to me, and that is almost what made part of it seem so enjoyable. You could sit and read it comfortably. The story is actually somewhat humorous and quite full of puns. For example, in Dictionopolis, you can meet an actual spelling bee and literally eat your words, or as it said on the back of the book, the island called Conclusions, which you can only get to by jumping, <laughs> which makes me laugh. The story teaches good lessons in grammar and math, though they're kind of subtle and might not actually be realized. I mean, the kingdoms are called Dictionopolis and Digitopolis and centered on grammar and math. Some things I didn't like, there actually really wasn't much I didn't like. The story was confusing, and that's about it. I mean, it's not one of my all-time favorite books, but it is a really enjoyable read. Content concerns? Um, don't have much to say here either. The bad guys are called demons, and they're ugly creatures who have bad character traits, such as wasting time or laziness, or just things like that. The name is the most frightening part of them, in my opinion. Milo, Talk, and the Humbug do run into quite a few of these creatures though. All in all, I think this is a great book, a super enjoyable read. I think it would even make a great family read aloud and it was enjoyable and yeah, interesting. So thank you so much for watching. I'd appreciate it if you would like the video, share it with your friends, comment below and subscribe to my channel. I do have a blog post relating to this video on my blog, goodcleanreads.com as well, which will basically just kind of say what I said in the video in blog form, and we'll also include an affiliate link to the book and some discussion questions as well. I do these videos in order to help Christians be discerning in what they read so that they can choose books that enable them to guard their heart with all vigilance, as the Bible says. Thank you so much for watching and bye!